See how I turn this assortment of discarded items into a battle-tested, scratch-built spaceship. That's all coming up on this episode of Making with Mark. For this project, I'm pulling some items from my junk bins again. I've got everything from an old prescription bottle to a contact lens case to some marker lids and a variety of other lids from different things I found. So to start off, I know I want to use this uh, sort of lid for a, a nose piece to this fuselage, so that's the first part that I scuff up and glue together. And then I start to think about engines and you know how I would connect them. First I got to take care of, of some little raised bits on the back there, the writing that I, I don't want to show. And then I mock up the jet engines or you know these thruster engines. Came up with an idea of using the marker lids in the inside of the larger lids and that's going to hold up these orange pieces in the center. And it creates this really cool effect where there's a little bit of a rim around the orange piece and whenever this is painted it's going to give some depth and really make it look like a realistic engine. And this is what I'm shooting for. Then I start kind of mocking up the assortment of the engines, where I want them, how many I want. And I came up with a design that I thought was pretty neat. I used the big sort of thruster rocket in the middle and then on each side I used these two uh, smaller rockets. And I liked the way that looked. I thought it it looked pretty realistic and especially once it's detailed later on. Now I Attach these first with some hot glue, and this is really just so I can make sure I get it positioned the way I want it. The hot glue allows me to kind of move it around some. And then I come back later once I have it exactly the way I want it, and I use some super glue, and then I follow that up with a little bit of baking powder just to lock all that in and then fill some of the gaps. This is a really handy way to put pieces together when you're not 100% sure how they need to fit. And I thought these marker lids would look really cool on the front of these engines on the side. You can see it sort of has these inlets in the front like an air intake. So I used some washers and then mounted these marker caps onto each engine. I was very happy with the way that looked. Now it's time to move on to the cockpit. And for that I'm using this drink bottle lid. Uh, to get it to sit a little flatter on top of that cylinder, I just took my sanding wheel and then ground out both sides. I wanted a little bit of a downward slant, as you could tell. Um, and then just sort of scuffed up the fuselage, a little bit of glue. And we have a cockpit. Now I'm going to use this contact lens holder for the canopy on the cockpit. So I started off by trimming some of the excess plastic off of it. And then a little bit of super glue. And we have a canopy on the cockpit. I felt like the spaceship needed some arms or, or something kind of sticking off the side of those wings. So use the inside pieces from an ink pen I took some other little pieces of plastic tube, did some sanding with my Dremel, and then glued those together. The idea here is to create this sort of arm or wing that comes off of the side of those engines. To add some detail, I took some little plastic washers, and I found some that fit just perfect over the inside piece of that ink pen. So I glued some of those up, and then I moved to the front. And I added a couple there as well. These are mostly, you know, for visual interest to make this look like some type of, of outer space gun or laser or something like that. I found that the inside bit that was attached to the back of the ink pen made these perfect little guns on top of the fuselage. Then I found these little rubber pieces. I thought those would make great uh, feet for the ship to sit on. 
part of the landing gear, but they were a little long. So I cut those down. And then I took some pieces of copper wire, inserted those, glued it together, built it up with some more tiny plastic washers. And this made the perfect little landing gear pieces. Added some additional details to the front one. That went with a total of three. And now the spaceship doesn't have to sit on its belly. Used an old drink bottle. I like the curvature of the plastic. It's going to make it really easy to make these little metal plates and details that go on the body of the spaceship. So I just cut out some little rectangles and then glued those on. Then I attached those outer wing pieces. And then I add some final details. Then a coat of primer, and you can really see things are coming along great here. You can really see everything start to come together since it's one color. But I'm not quite finished. I decided uh, this is sort of an ode to the A-10 Warthog uh, jet, one of my favorites. So I decided to make this sort of Gatlin gun, laser type gun uh, for the spaceship. If you're familiar with the plane, it's one of the most identifying features. So I added the barrel details and then fitted that on. And there you can see that Gatlin gun. And you'll notice here in a moment that I wasn't finished with the references to the A-10 Warthog. I added some more finishing touches and I was really, really happy with the way this one turned out. If you enjoyed this video, check out these others that I think you'll also enjoy.